If my nose looks weird, it's because I tried to contour it. <laughs> like... Anyway, so I am a, um, a big fan of makeup compilation videos. Um, most specifically, um, compilation videos of people from uh, Instagram and uh, TikTok because I don't, I don't have TikTok and I'm never on Instagram, but I know there are a lot of really talented makeup artists on those platforms. So, so um, if I'm perusing YouTube and I find a, discover a channel that makes really good compilation videos, um, I think that's awesome because there's absolutely no way that any of us could watch all of the influencers and all of the very talented makeup artists. There's just, there just aren't enough hours in the day. There are so many talented people on many different platforms. Anyway. And there was this one palette in particular that started popping up. And it was called the Florasis palette. I know I'm saying that wrong. Um, I'm just not sure what the correct pronunciation is, and in English it's spelled Florasis. So um, I do apologize that I'm not uh, pronouncing it correctly. Now, I'm not usually someone, I'm more function over fashion, typically, um, and uh, so, which means I would rather have like a decent product that looks plain than have something that's got like super fancy packaging, but the product is just kind of like, yeah, it's okay. So I started seeing this particular palette popping up and every time it would come up in one of these videos and these women would be, would be applying it to their face, it was just the, it, it was breathtaking. It was intricately carved. The colors were pigmented. It was like, it looked like a work of art. I was instantly just mesmerized by it. Just out of curiosity, I tried to look for it and I could not find it anywhere. To save my life, I could not find it anywhere. I googled and googled and googled and most companies will have their own website. For some reason, Florasis doesn't. Um, I'm not sure why, there might be a reason, but for whatever reason, they they don't have a website, at least not one that I could find. It didn't pop up on Google. They have a Facebook page and they have, and they're on Instagram. But uh, as far as I know, the company itself doesn't have an official website. And the only place, the only place I could find any, any palette that looked remotely like this one was on AliExpress. I really, um, didn't want to order from Aliexpress. I wanted to find it somewhere else and I tried, but I could not find it anywhere. The problem with Aliexpress is that they are notorious for selling counterfeit products. Um, they do sell a lot of legitimate products on there as well, just to clarify. But as I, as soon as I, you know, if you go on the website and you type something in, you're, you'll see fakes of things. And so when I, when I typed in Florasis palette, a whole bunch of results showed up. And a lot of them showed up as like nine or ten dollars <laughs> each. Uh, and a lot of them looked a little bit different. And if you don't know exactly what you're looking for, if you don't know exactly what the original product and the legitimate real product looks like, you could be easily duped. And I did not want to buy a counterfeit product by accident because with like fake or counterfeit products, you don't know what's in that product. You don't know who made it. You don't know what kind of ingredients they used. You don't know what kind of health and safety precautions they took while, while making this product. You know, it, it, there's a lot of unanswered questions and um, it can be a safety concern. You're putting this stuff on your face, and especially with eyeshadow palettes, you're putting it really close to your eyes. So I really did not want to buy the counterfeit product, the counterfeit version. Um, so I kept scrolling, 
and eventually I came across a palette that was $93. This one. So I ended up getting it. I thought about it for a while because 90 bucks is a lot of money, especially for me because I'm cheap. But I finally purchased it. I just couldn't help myself and it was kind of like a birthday present to myself. My birthday was a couple months ago. So I was like, you know what? Screw it. It's a one-time thing. And I just like, I can't, I can't go through my life not owning this. This is the first time I've ever been influenced by pure aesthetics, by purely by the look of something. And it probably will never happen again, but never say never. I was kind of toying around with the idea of purchasing the real one and one that I knew was fake to sort of compare them. But I wouldn't want to like, risk an eye infection or anything weird like that by putting uh, a counterfeit product on my face. So I didn't do that. I just got the real one. And the reason I know this is the real one, because number one, um, it was way more expensive than the other ones. And number two, um, there were a couple reviews left on the page for this saying that it was real. Um, when they received it, it was a, the legitimate product. It was the genuine article. And I also did find, after some sleuthing, I did eventually find a, um, a, I think it was a blog. It was an article or something. I just, I, I googled how to tell whether the fluorescence palette is real or fake. Um, and a result finally popped up, um, just giving a couple, pointing out a couple of ways in which you can kind of discern whether or not, um, it's real or counterfeit. So I finally got this in the mail two months after ordering it. I ordered it in September and it finally arrived last week. You have no idea how hard it was for me to keep this in its package. As you can see, it is still, like it's still in plastic. There's a plastic packaging. You have n absolutely no idea how hard it was for me not to open this. <laughs> Cause I just like, my fingers literally itch when I get a new product, my fingers itch to open it and swatch it and look at it and see it. And it's just like, it's Christmas. When I first received this, I just simply wanted to open it to make sure that it was real. Um, but I saw that there was a plastic cover on it. Like it, there was plastic wrap on it still. So I figured that I would wait and just do everything on camera. Anyway, so after this painfully long intro and explanation, um, in the package that I received from AliExpress, I got the palette and it also came with a little brush and there, um, also a little free gift. I think it's a face mask. I'm not sure. There's absolutely no English on anything, um, which is fine. I'm just gonna have to Google Translate some stuff not a big deal. So yeah, it came with a little brush and the palette and the little free gift there. So there's the brush. It's got the Fluorosis branding on there. And we got like a fluffy blending side and we got more like a detailed brush on the other end. So there's that. And now for the moment of truth. I'm so excited. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and open this up. The packaging, it, it, the outer packaging itself is just so breathtaking. Look at all the detail. And I'm not sure how to open this. There we go. There we go. It's so pretty. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not usually this affected by pretty things, but it's just so gorgeous. And there is the palette. This is, in fact, the real deal. Is that not the most breathtaking thing you've ever seen in your entire life? One of the things that they said uh, that I found online about whether or not you can tell if it's real or fake is if the plastic, like the, like the case itself, is plastic, if it's hard plastic. If it's hard plastic, you know that it's probably real. All of um, the other ones, super cheap versions of this palette um, that are like nine or ten dollars will all have uh, cheap cardboard packaging and that's a pretty good indicator that um, 
it's a fake product, a counterfeit, counterfeit product. This um, palette comes in two different shades. There's a number one and a number two. Uh, I got number one because it had a couple of uh, it had a couple of darker shades in it. So I'm just gonna take this plastic. There's like little purple. Can you see that? See that? There's like little purple sparkles suspended in the plastic on the top. <gasps> I haven't even opened it yet, and my breath has been taken away. I guess I should tell you the name. That would be a good idea. Professional, can't you tell? This is the Florasis Peony Exquisitely Carved Flower Pattern Eyeshadow. In number one. It's referred to a lot online as the Flower West palette. There's a whole line of products that say Flower West on them, so my guess is that um, this is the, the Florasis Peony palette from the Flower West product line. That's my guess. Please correct me if I'm wrong. Um, I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm guessing. The moment I've been waiting for, I don't know about you, but I've been waiting for it for a very long time. Oh my gosh. Is this not the most beautiful thing you've ever seen in your life? Look at that detail. It's beautiful. It's a little smaller than I thought it would be, but dude, it's even prettier in real life. It doesn't really have a smell. This is 100% the genuine article, by the way. Thank the Lord Jesus it did not come damaged. I would have been extremely upset. Sorry, I can't stop looking at it. Okay, let's um, let's do some swatches. Yeah, that'll give me time to uh, think about what colors I want to use. This way? Yeah, let's swatch them that way. Um, quick note, um, this one I do believe is meant to be a blush, and these two can, um, these two here can double as eyeshadows. Well, you can use this as eyeshadow too, obviously, but um, these two can double as eyeshadows and highlighters. So I'm gonna start on this end and work my way this way, starting with this dark brown shade. This is that, uh, the lighter of the two, shimmery highlighter shade. Oh, it's gorgeous. Next is the sort of blush kind of shade, the red color. That. And here is the color that looks like black. Some people said it was like a really dark green. Oh, it is too. It is like a really dark green color. I guess kind of like black with a green undertone to it. What do you think? Is that green or black? Either way, they're stunning, and I want them on my face. I was just trying to clean the swatches off my arm and my fingertips. And, uh, the green stains, so... Oh! I forgot to swatch the cream color. Dang it. Anyway. There you go. It is there, you can see it. Bloop! Right there. It just don't show up because I'm roughly the same color as the dead eyeshadow. Um, which will actually make it a great starter shade. So, I think I've kind of got an idea of what I want to do. Uh, let's just go for it, shall we? I have already got my base on. Um, Contoured my nose badly. Um, eyebrows, everything like that. I did do a little bit of a contour kind of situation. Usually, if I was doing like a dramatic eye look, I would not um, do my base first, but I just, I wanted to save time. So we'll, we'll see how much fallout there is. So I'm just going to um, prime my eyelids, quick. So I'm gonna try this uh, 
the brush out that came with the palette. Um, and I'm gonna go into that um, light cream colored shade. It does kick up a little bit, by the way. I'm just gonna lay that down as an all over base. One thing about Floresis that I really like, um, because I have done a little research on the brand, what I could find, all of their products contain some sort of like botanical ingredient, either um, flower extract or herb, a different kind of herbal extract or... So there's like a natural, um, there's like a really natural sort of nature element to all of their products, as well as looking freaking stunning. So I think that's just, I think that's pretty amazing. I, I really, I really like that. So, um, you can't even tell that's there, but that's okay. I think I'm going to use this color here and just start working it into the crease a bit. So there's definitely pigment there. Now see, that's the thing with swatches. They didn't swatch super well, but dang. I did not put that much on my brush. Take some of that cream color and just kind of go around the edges of that. Mm-hmm. Allison went overboard. Yep. But now we gotta roll with it. I'm not seeing a lot of fallout so far, by the way. Uh... Yeah. Next, I believe I'm gonna go in with this, uh, this darkest brown here. I'm gonna take it on the smaller end of the brush just to start deepening up this uh, outer corner here. Now I'm just gonna buff it out. So there we go. I'm obviously um, trying to create a more dramatic makeup look. Um, you can create very natural makeup looks with this but I want to kind of see how dramatic I can make it. Now I'm going to attempt to deepen, up, deepen it up a little more with this blackish green shade, and we'll see how that goes. Uh, so I'm just gonna take a little tiny bit of it on this brush here. Now this one, ooh, this one does kick up a lot. So I'm really gonna tap the excess off there and start placing it just right in this area right here and buff it in. Hmm. There's this little area right here that just doesn't want to blend. I don't know if that's just my eyeball being weird or if I applied the um, eye primer weird, like if there was a little chunk that wasn't, there's was a little bit of eye primer that wasn't um, blended properly, or what. Anyway. That's about as good as it's gonna get. So that green, greenish black, when applied, it does look more black than green. I think it's just like, it's a very unique pigment that they used. Um, I don't completely understand it myself, but to me, it's coming off more black than anything. Maybe if I mixed it with different colors, it would, you know, sort of take on a different tone. That's actually really interesting. I should test that. I'm going to take this sort of like, like reddish rose gold color. Okay, see? I'm going to take that color and put it in the center here, just cause. Oh yeah, so um, that one did leave a lot of fallout, just so you know. It's beautiful, but left fallout. Keep that in mind if you can actually get a hold of this palette. I don't usually use colors this warm. I'm more of a cool neutral kind of gal myself, but dang doesn't that ever look gorgeous. The colors, not necessarily the uh application. <laughs> I'm just using a brush to kind of press it into my inner corner 
because like I said in my um in my previous video my inner corner is like behind this fold of skin here this like the actual corner of my eye here the inner corner of my lid is kind of, it kind of like goes behind that so I really have to uh, dig in there to get the eyeshadow into that corner of my eyelid which is a bit annoying at times but what can you do this is actually a really pretty shade Oh yeah. I think that I want to try a little bit of this guy. I'm gonna use this one as a highlighter, but this one I want to just put a little bit in the center, see if I can get a little more um, sparkle. So I'm gonna try and um, hopefully not screw this up. Go a little there, a little there. There we go. I don't think I did too bad. Yeah. I like that. I don't actually- I don't usually wear really warm tones like this. My eyes are quite blue, so the colors- like really warm colors like this make my eyes pop. But I feel like they also kind of clash with my skin because my skin is like a neutral leaning cool tone with a lot of um, a tendency to get pretty red. So. I tend to shy away from really warm colors like this because I just feel like they accentuate the natural redness in my face but I actually really like this the way this looks so I'm going to take that uh, I'm going to take uh, the medium brown and the dark brown and uh, run them under my lower lash line um, and probably use a little bit of this just on the outer edge as well so I'm going to go ahead and do that and um, I will be back. I'm back. Uh, I added a couple things. I just went ahead and finished off the eyes with a little bit of little bit of uh, gel eyeliner. Did a little baby wing here, and um, I just went ahead and added mascara because why not? I just used the um, Tony Moly gel eyeliner and the uh, Lash Paradise mascara. So the eyes are pretty much done. Um, I am gonna add an inner corner highlight. Um, but right now what I actually wanna do is, <laughs> I'm nervous. I want to actually try this blush um, and I want to use this as a highlight. So I'm going to, oh, I don't have a blush brush. I have to grab a brush, hang on. Blush brush. Uh, this is, from this is so old it's from an eco tools like travel size travel kit thing um so is the uh the brush i'm going to be using for my highlighter i don't even know if these are, are available anymore um they just came from like a little travel kit anyway uh this brush is too big for me to use on my eyeballs really like this is it, it literally takes up my whole eye and um, I never wear blush, so um, I just don't usually use these, but today is their day. So I'm going to go ahead and <laughs> very gingerly use this blush here. I'm going to tap off the excess. I'm gonna try and put the blush kind of high up here, just because I'm just trying something different. I don't even know if this is gonna show up because I tapped it all off. Oh, okay, there it is. There it is, you can kind of see it. Whoop. So I'm kind of going for the blush right here kind of look. Um, I think I overdid it on the blush a little bit. I think it's pretty safe to say, but there it is. It's on my face now. There's no going back and I don't feel like redoing everything. I am aware that um, th th this particular blush 
placement choice um, is probably not meant to be paired with an eye look this dramatic. It kind of wouldn't look as weird and over the top um, with a slightly more natural eye, but uh, whatever. I, I just, I, I wanted to try it. I wanted to, um, I wanted to try the blush out. I never wear blush. I never try blushes. There was that elf blush that I chickened out on uh, a couple videos back, so um, I actually wanted to, like, I just wanted to uh, try a blush out on my face for once. It looks really over the top to me but I'm a bad judge. It actually wouldn't look that bad on a lot of skin tones and it probably would look a lot better on me um, if I used less. I did go a little over the top, sort of by accident on purpose. So there's the blush. Um, I'm going to use this one as a highlighter um, just to finish everything off and then I'm gonna slap a lip on just to complete the look. Gonna take a little bit of that glittery color, tap off the excess. It is really glittery, by the way. There are actual little flecks, not chunks, but flecks of glitter. I'm just gonna lightly grind that onto my cheek. Do you see that? I know you do. I'm gonna show you exactly what I did on this cheek. So, here's what I did. I went like this and like this tapped it off a couple times and then applied very gently that is absolutely gorgeous look at that I'm beaming it is a little bit glittery it's not so glittery that I'm put off by it though like there are no there are no like chunks of glitter it's almost like little flakes like they look really loose on the brush and then when you apply it onto your face they just kind of like stick to your face and create this beautiful kind of icy sheen it doesn't look icy now because blush like, for the amount I didn't put on, that stuff really shows. So I'm going to just take a little bit of that same shade, stick it in my inner corner. I'm gonna take this brush here and just soften that a little bit, because that is super intense. Amazing. I absolutely love it. It was not money wasted. Oh, well I guess we could do this too. Nope. I have a glitter mustache now. Now to finish everything off, lips. Uh, this is the Selfie Velvet Lip Tint by W Lab. I'm not sure what shade this is. I think it's n number 04. It's kind of like a like a brick red color. It will kind of match the uh, the eyeshadow situation I've got going on here. I don't normally use velvet tints either. I find them pretty drying, but this one sort of fit the look, so I figured why not. See what's happening? My cheeks are turning red down here. Like, it clashes with the blush. There's my cheek color. There's the blush. <sighs> Ta-da! So there's the finished look using the Florasis um, Flower West Peony palette. I actually really, really like it. The shimmers are amazing. The mattes are very good as well, actually. This is one of those palettes that actually didn't swatch that great. Um, the the shimmers swatched really well. The mattes were kind of like meh, but um, once applied to the eyes with a brush, they really... I had high expectations because of the price I paid, and this absolutely did not disappoint. Are some of the shades as pigmented as some Western brands? No but like they created this masterpiece with absolutely no trouble at all. There was no pigmentation issue for me. There was only 
one shade that I didn't use actually, it was uh, this one here, this cold shade. This shade I'm still very confused by. In my opinion, it worked beautifully. There are um, a few other reviews of this palette floating around on YouTube, um, and there were a couple people who didn't think they were very pigmented. I personally didn't find that to be the case. I enjoyed them very much. I love the way this eye look turned out. It's not something that I typically do, but I actually think it looks really pretty. This was an absolute win for me, if not just for like aesthetic reasons. It's like one of the most beautiful things I've ever seen in my entire life. It'll be a shame when I use this to the point where you can't really see those carvings anymore because those are exquisite. I'll add some more pictures here of um, some of the other products they have that are equally as gorgeous. Every single product they make, it, it, it looks like it's been made with such care. And that's just something that I really appreciate. And I think, I don't know, I just think they're really gorgeous. So follow them on Instagram. <laughs> follow them on Instagram and um, follow them on Facebook as well. Hopefully one day they'll come out with a website. It'll be a little easier for me to uh, get a hold of some of their uh, products because I would love to try more of them. They look, they look absolutely stunning. I just don't know where to find them. And I'm not really a fan of AliExpress. Um, so if you want to chance purchasing it, I would actually like to try the blush again with a more understated eye look, like a more natural eye look, just to see if... Um, it looks less over the top that way because, I don't know, this just seems a little off to me. Anyway, that's it. That's the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please consider liking this video and subscribing to my channel, and I'll see you in the next one. I just look like I have a lipstick mustache instead of a glitter mustache now. Absolutely ridiculous. I don't even know what you would call that. What would you call that? It's like a pinky, reddy, brown with shimmer. <sighs> why does my hair have to be weird? Like, why? You weren't even in a ponytail! Rawr.